welcome to Tales of Honor Podcast, a podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of every recipient of the Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Tales of Honor Podcast. I'm your host, Christoph Ambrosch, and today's episode is starting another uh, U.S. conflict. This will be World War I, and it's going to be taking place all of this month of March and next month in April. And I also wanted to try something new out in the beginning of each episode instead of just saying the usual spiel that I give. I'd like to actually start doing some Medal of Honor uh, current events or news in the very, very beginning. Let me know if that's what you'd like me to do or if there's something specifically you'd like me to cover before the actual story. I kind of like the idea of doing some uh, Medal of Honor current events, birthdays or whatever is going on on that day. But for today, if this is your first time hearing this, please be sure to subscribe. You can subscribe on Apple Podcasts, which is the usual place that most people listen to this podcast. You can also subscribe on Spotify, which is where a good chunk of people listen to their music. If you happen to peruse YouTube a lot, you can subscribe on there as well. There is an audio component on YouTube. And if you're the type of person that likes to be on Facebook quite a bit, there is an audio component on Facebook as well that you can listen to. And you can also easily share on Facebook, which is the nice feature about Facebook. You just hit share and it goes to all of the people that you are quote-unquote friends with, Uh, (laughs) and pretty much anywhere else you listen to media, whether it's podcast or music, you can subscribe and download this podcast. So please do that. New episodes come out every Wednesday and Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And now, a tale of honor. Born in China on the 27th of September, 1892, George had parents that were missionaries and returned to the States to raise him in El Reno, Oklahoma. He went on to attend what is now Oklahoma State University, which he left in order to join the U.S. Army. George received his commission as a second lieutenant in 1917, and he deployed to Europe in support of World War I. He was in France serving as first lieutenant with the 10th Field Artillery Regiment, 3rd Division, when his actions during the Second Battle of the Marne would earn him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads... At the very outset of the unprecedented artillery bombardment by the enemy, his line of communication was destroyed beyond repair. Despite the hazard attached to the mission of runner, he immediately set out to establish contact with the neighboring post of command and further establish liaison with two French batteries, visiting their position so frequently that he was mainly responsible for the accurate fire therefrom. While thus engaged, seven horses were shot under him and he was severely wounded. His activity under most severe fire was an important factor in checking the advance of the enemy. George had rode horses between the French batteries and his command post for the second half of the 14th of July, 1918, and into the next day, contributing to the halt of the Germans. He received the Medal of Honor the following year and remained in the Army, going on to serve in World War II. George was the commander of the 99th Field Artillery and participated in the Battle of Monte Cassino, commanded the 2nd Infantry Division's artillery during the invasion of Normandy on Omaha Beach, and commanded the 10th Mountain Division in Italy during the Italian Spring Offensive. After World War II, George became the High Commissioner for the U.S. Occupation Zone in Germany and then was in charge of the occupation forces in Austria in 1952. The following year, George retired from the Army as a Lieutenant General after 36 years of service. George Price Hayes died at the age of 85 on the 7th of August, 1978, and is buried in Arlington National Cemetery, Section 11, Site 540-2. And that was a tale of honor. Thank you for listening to Tales of Honor Podcast. Head on over to talesofhonorpodcast.com where you can read these stories, see other ways to support the show, and easily share a story with your friends and family. Tales of Honor Podcast is written and produced by Christoph Ambrosch, and theme song, A New Beginning, is by Ben Sound. If you have any questions or comments, you can send them to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com. And until next time, I'm Christoph Ambrosch. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening.